questions for Seth? So Seth, just start your off season, obviously chaotic. Give us your thought process as you, the whole thing transpired. Um, personally, the thought process was uh, control what you can control and um, just continue to work through uh, what's going on around you. What were you controlling? Uh, just, you know, being in the gym every day, stuff like that, and um, that's pretty much it. That's all I could control. You're, you know, you just played the scrimmage. You're allowed to talk about that now. What were some of your thoughts on, on that first scrimmage and how you guys operated and interacted together? Um, I thought we played well. Uh, definitely there's some things that, you know, we have to improve on, uh, but that's what those scrimmages are for. But I think considering that it was our first time really being a team and being together, I thought we did really well. How much do you really know these guys? I mean, not a lot of open gym. I mean, a lot of these guys didn't get here till beginning of school. I mean, you guys are still trying to learn each other, right? Right. But um, the good thing is, off the court, we're always around each other. Um, we're building chemistry and camaraderie that way, just hanging out, you know, doing team activities together. And, you know, uh, the good thing about that is I feel like I've known these guys my whole life, you know, doing stuff like that. So. When they zig, and do they zag, or are they still? Or is that all coming together a little bit on the floor? Yeah, it's starting to come together. It's starting to come together uh, naturally. Over time, things like that, they just become second nature. You know what a guy likes, you know what a guy doesn't like, but uh, it's coming together though. Seth, coach has been talking about through the preseason about how he's kind of revamping, changing the offense, uh, changing the offensive philosophy, spacing. Uh, so obviously, the, the scrimmage was kind of really your guys' first chance to see it against somebody different. Just uh, what did it look like? How did it feel playing in it against someone new? And, 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 and um, you know, what's uh, what's the good and, the good and bad and, and, and ugly of it, I guess? Uh, playing the system, the new system, it's good. It's going to work. I feel like it's going to work. I feel like we're going to be uh, really good in it. Um, also, I feel like, too, like, like naturally, there's things you could approve on spacing and stuff like that. But that just comes with reps. Yeah. Reps and then, again, chemistry, camaraderie. Uh, some guys may not like the corner shot. Maybe he likes a shot on the break. It just depends on stuff like that. But I think it all in all is going to be good for us. You took a lot of shots last year, a lot of tough shots, uh, but mid-range shots. Uh, could this offense suit someone with your capabilities, do you think? Um, definitely. Uh, there's a sense of freedom. Um, and there's a sense of ability to make reads and stuff like that. So I feel like that would definitely help and you know, be good. Is there a shot you don't like? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Playing with Kerr, is he a different style point that you've dealt with? And, and what's his? what do you have to do when he's he's out there? Um, definitely it's different. Um, naturally, you have to always have your head on a swivel because you don't know where he's going to throw the ball. You know what I mean? Like, he might throw it behind his head. He might throw it behind his back. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, so you got to have your head on the swivel and just be ready to uh, knock down shots. You've been through, uh, uh, shall we say, a spectator on a lot of things going on since you got here between Huggins, the transfer portal, the guys coming and going and, and the likes. Uh, how important has, you know, you said you sort of retired to the gym. And right. How important has that time been to, to, to just clear your head and shoot baskets? Um, it's very important. Uh, all my life, basketball has been a kind of like safe haven, a place where I go to clear my mind and stuff like that. When there's distractions and stuff I can't control, so that's the one thing I know I can't control, I'm, like what I'm doing in the gym and stuff like that. So it's been vital. It's been important. You could have transferred this off season. Well, you decided not to. Why? And you know what went through your thoughts? Um, to be honest, uh, I'm a man of faith. Prayed about it, um, and my heart was here. I wanted to be here. Uh, regardless of what was going on, that's where I wanted to be. So I just I stayed. How do you guys become a better rebounding team? Uh, practice. <laughs> that's about, <laughs> that's about it. A gang rebounding team. Uh, definitely, know? definitely. Um, when you got a guy like Jesse Cook, you know the bigs that we have. Q, like, you know, naturally, you know, you think they're gonna go get all the rebounds, but at the same time, though, as guards and wings, we gotta go help as well. You know. You guys play on Friday in front of the crowd for the first time. Obviously, a lot of fans have known what the programs look like over the last few. So when they see it on Friday, is it going to look drastically different? A little bit different? Uh, you know. 
uh, your thoughts there? I mean, to that, I'm going to say they got to wait and see. Uh, I think it's going to, like I said, all in all, I think it's going to be good. But uh, wait and see. It's going to be fun. Not a very deep team. So I guess all hands on deck, right, for this team. Everybody's got to go in with the, the mindset, I'm, I'm going to be needed. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, but I feel like with any team, that should be the mindset anyway, you know, because at the end of the day, we all got the same goal. We all want to, you know, win games and obviously play the last game of the season. So I feel like that's the mentality the whole time. What did you work on to improve your own individual game in the offseason? Um, working on uh, reads, uh, shot selection, you know what I mean, stuff like that. Uh, figuring out what's a good shot, what's a bad shot. And then actually um, working on, you know, handling the ball more, stuff like that. But just trying to touch up all parts of my game, improve the weaknesses, and keep the strengths to strengths. What, what's Josh like as a head coach? Josh is great. Josh is great. Um, him steering the ship with the staff we have, you know what I mean? I, I love it. You know, I have all the faith in the world in him. And um, I'll run through a wall for all of them, so. Treadmill retired. Is treadmill retired? Yeah. So far, but I don't want to jinx it. So, I, so far, but I don't want to jinx it. But it's still there. It's still there. It's still there. We still use it. You know, it was more of a conditioning off-season tool. But uh, you know, I don't want to talk it up because uh, you know, y'all might mention it at the next interview. Ruoff working with you. Who's who's the guards coach? Uh, Jordan McCabe and Ruoff. I think it, they they split. Um, but um, I've been mainly putting a lot of work in with Ruoff, though, mm -hmm. personally. What's he teaching? Um, like off-ball reads, mm -hmm. you know, stuff that he used to be good at. I'm trying to also implement that in my game as well. Has Josh had one of those moments yet at practice where he's erupted, uh, or has he been pretty calm and cool, or what uh, sets him off? Um, it's been pretty calm. It's been a pretty calm, cool. Naturally, he gets after us, you know, if we're messing up. But mm -hmm. the beauty of it is we do have an older team. So, you know, a lot of times... You know, we kind of handle, we handle our situations, you know, before it even gets to that point. So you were talking earlier about uh, learning about good shots versus bad shots. I mean, you made a lot of tough shots last year, so I'm kind of wondering, when, when you evaluate right. what you were able to do last year, I mean, there's kind of a, a unique ability to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Some of those shots, though, probably wouldn't be classified as good shots. So just kind of take me through that thought process and how that's maybe changed uh, for you? A lot of times, um, we're just working on, you know, timing of shots, yeah. you know, uh, looking at, you know, shot clock situation, those things like that. Um, nothing to do with taking away natural aggression or ability, but just, you know, making sure that we implement also as well, you know, like I said, timing and knowing when certain shots are needed and when not. Green light. Is he pretty good, Josh, with the players? Green light, good shot, good shot, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. We uh, have a saying: we never get mad at a uh, bad shot, at a uh, good open shot. So like, we never get mad. Like, say for instance, you miss a, a open one. If it's a good one, who cares? Next play. Going along with the idea of taking tough shots, if my memory serves me, statistically, you had very few turnovers last year. I mean, like almost none. Was that because you didn't? Do much with the ball as far as passing it and, and stuff like that, or is that uh, something that that you had worked on and put together? Say, um, I could say it's a little bit of both, but also in the same token, though, I don't ever try to take unnecessary risk or chances. So um, you know, I'd rather play it safe than try to do something extra. Seth, when you ultimately decided to say you, you and Kobe came in together. Did you guys have any talk about you know? remain committed to this program. And yeah, that's my that's my best friend. Like that's my best friend. That's like my brother. You know, uh so obviously a lot of the things that we did, we, we talked about it amongst ourselves and uh you know once we both said we were both all in, we were both all in and it wasn't no turning back. So obviously <clears> the news yesterday with the, the, the Raycon how much does that I mean I'm sure it changes rotations and things like that, but uh can you can you kinda just give us a sense of, of, like, is it drastic changes? Is it just a matter of new guys kind of stepping in? Just, you know, if you could kind of just take us through uh, the, the philosophy there a little bit. Uh, obviously, now everyone does have to, you know, step up and, you know, be prepared. Um, but a guy like that, that's just, that, that's tough. Yeah. You know, a guy that could do what he does on the floor. 
That's tough, but like I said, everybody's just, you know, we're going to pick him up, you know, as we go, and um, hopefully he can join us. But uh, we're going to all be ready, though, at the same time. Battle out, does that impact Kobe the most? Um, I think it's an impact for everybody. Okay. Honestly, I think it's everybody because um, not everybody's going to be in a position to do, you know, something maybe they're not comfortable with, which is fine, completely fine. You know, that's what we practice for. That's what we – come together for it, you know, pick each other up and do stuff like that. But, you know, I think everybody's impacted. Seth, thank you. No problem.